Today we're doing a little bit of wood refining for sterling. And while I wait for my wood to refine, I'm going to talk to you about the importance of being able to do nothing. I guess we could call it silent skills. Sometimes you'll find that things aren't going quite your way. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to do something about it. And it's true if you have a situation where something bad is coming your way, you should dodge it. Absolutely. But there's also a lot of times where you know that something isn't right. And you've also done everything you know to do. There's nothing more that you know of that you can do to make a difference. You've done all that. And there's this overwhelming temptation to zero back in and keep on checking and keep on mulling it over again and again and again. It's best to learn to stop it. Because once you take the appropriate action, to the best of your knowledge, to the best of your wisdom, to the utmost of your ability to use good judgment and take the necessary and appropriate steps to safeguard your security and your success, you need to let things go and let them be. Imagine if you went out to your garden, if you're a farmer, and you planted your seeds, and then you come back and you check them again the very next day. And you, maybe you check on them even more often than that. You check on them multiple times a day to see if they have grown fully. And to your dismay, every time you check on them, they are largely unchanged. You give yourself anxiety because you're continuing to check, to watch, to see growth. And you're expecting that something which takes time, something which is not instantaneous by a long shot, something which requires an entire season to grow, you want it to grow right now. And ironically, the more you keep on following up, keep on checking again, keep on hoping that maybe you'll see something extraordinary happen this minute versus the last minute, the more impatient you get and you start to set yourself up for failure because you're conditioning yourself to feel like something which is supposed to be taking a while needs to be showing progress minute by minute. And you're also wasting your time. Because let's talk about, for example, a stock portfolio. It's a good example. You invest in the stock market, you have some stocks, and if it's a good investment, then maybe you get a return on your investment pretty quickly, or maybe it takes a bit of time. I don't know. You could take a look every day to kind of see how is it going, and if it's going well and you need to sell something, then you do that, and if it's not, then maybe you just wait for a while. Maybe some of the things that you purchase just sit in your portfolio for years and it just, it is what it is. Then it's not a big deal. Because you invest something that you intend to, you want to get your money back, you want to get your return on investment over the course of 10 years, then it doesn't really matter what happens to it on a Thursday right? It certainly doesn't matter what happens to it 
minute by minute or hour by hour. So if you're tempted to download the stock ticker and then take a look at it and, and check your phone every five or ten minutes to see if something happened, you're just wasting your time. It's no different than scrolling TikTok videos. It's just being neurotic. That's really all it is. It doesn't necessarily hurt anything. But it's good to break that habit. Because you want to make productive choices in your life. And the best way to do that is to eliminate redundancy. If you have a whole bunch of things that are all doing the same thing for you, and you only need one to get the job done, but you have five. It's like having five washing machines in your utility room to do your laundry with. You use a different washing machine every day, every week, and then you cycle through all of them. Like, why? You spent five times as much money to get these washing machines, and you use all of them when you really just need to have one to get the job done. And we do that with our lives and with our prioritization and with our management of time. We tend to do a lot of redundant things and we think about a lot of redundant things. We start to have this attitude that we need to keep on checking again and again. We're going back to the news feed, back to the social media, back to scrolling the phone, back to checking the stock market, whatever it might be. We always go back again and again to see if there's something that we have missed because we're addicted to the immediacy of now. And what we really need is patience. We need to be assertive enough, deliberate enough to make an action that's deliberate and decisive, but we also need to be patient enough to let the seeds we plant today grow for the full duration of their season. Now that does not mean that apathy is good doesn't mean that you should just not bother to pay any attention to things. You should know what's going on in the world. You should make an effort to invest in things that have purpose and value. You shouldn't hide your head in the sand, but you also don't need to continue to watch the pot every second to see if it's boiling. Let things grow for their season. When the season is up, then be ready for the harvest. And yet, time is too valuable for us to waste it on things that do not bring us joy and do not serve a purpose. It needs to be one of those two things. It either needs to bring joy into your life or it needs to serve a purpose in your life. And if it doesn't do either, which the truth is, scrolling TikTok and checking your social media over and over again and reading the news that you already read over again, those sorts of activities do not bring value into your life and they don't bring joy into your life. What brings purpose into our lives is concerted activity. When we say this is what I'm going to do and then we do it. And then when it's done we move on to something else that we want to do next. The more noise you cut out of your life the more time you have to invest in other things. And also the more at peace you will be. Once you learn the art of waiting with patience, it's sort of a muscle. It does grow easier the more you do it.